Can I get a discount? Excuse me, how much does this coat cost? This coat is $150, madam. Really? That's really expensive. Can I get a discount? I'm afraid not, madam. We don't have a discount for this coat, but you can take a look at the t-shirts. Some of them have a discount up to 50%. Are you interested? Sounds good, but I need a coat. Would you consider a different coat? Hmm, do you have any cheap trench coats that I can try on? Yes, we have cheaper trench coats right over there. Please have a look at them. This blue one looks good. I'll try it on. I want to change my reservation. Good evening. This is Adam from Shooting Star Restaurant. How can I help you? Hello, my name is Mary. I already booked a table at your restaurant at 7 p.m. tonight. May I ask whether your full name is Mary Johnson? Yes, it is. Yes, Ms. Mary Johnson, you did book a table at our restaurant. But I want to change my reservation. What time do you want to change it to? Is it possible to come at 8? I'm sorry, but our restaurant may be very busy tonight. I'm afraid we can only wait for you until 7.30. I see. All right, I will try my best to come on time. Thank you for your understanding, Ms. Johnson. I'm looking for a cheap place. What kind of house or apartment are you looking for? Well, I prefer living in an apartment, and I'm looking for a cheap place. Our cheapest apartment on King Street is $1,000 a month. What do you think? Can you describe that apartment? It has a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a big bedroom. Sounds good. How about the neighborhood? Although this is quite cheap, it's far away from the city center. However, there's a convenience store on the first floor of this apartment building. There's also a park next to it. Sounds perfect to me because I hardly visit the center city. Do you want to have a look at it now? Yeah, sure. Please take me there. Maybe next time. Finally, it's lunchtime. Want to eat out, guys? Sure, let's go. Hey, Maria, why don't you join us? Sorry, I brought my lunch today. Maybe next time. Oh, really? What do you have for today? Actually, it's just a simple lunch. I have some salad, rice, a small loaf of bread, and roasted chicken. Yummy! Enjoy your lunch. Hope to eat with you next time. All right. See you guys after break. Let me check. Do you have time, Sarah? Yes. I was told I have some mistakes on my report. But I'm not sure what they are. Can you help me? Oh, sure. Let me check. Hmm, I think you have to be careful with the typos. And there are also some grammatical errors as well. Oh, really? I think it's because I forgot to double check before submitting. Yeah, it could be the problem. Your ideas for this report are perfect. 
However, make sure to present them more clearly next time. Alright, got it! Let me fix everything now! Good luck! Please write it down. Hey Josh, do you know any good science books? What for? Nothing much, but I want to learn more about science. I love reading fiction or sci-fi novels, so I want to try new genres. Ah, I see. I have a book called Basics of Chemistry. If you are interested, please write it down and go to the bookstore to find it. Alright, any other books? Hmm, I think it's a better idea if you ask our science teacher. He may have a lot of books for you to borrow. But I'm afraid that his books are too difficult for me to understand. You're right. Do you like physics? Yes, that's one of my favorite subjects. Great! I have a lot of physics books and I can lend you some. Thanks a lot. Hold it right there. Hey Rachel, how's it going? Don't move! Hold it right there! Alright, alright. But what's wrong? I'm cleaning the floor right now. Please stand right there for a few minutes. Okay... So now... Can I step in? Okay, you can go inside now. Have you just cleaned the whole house? Yeah, I have free time today, so I want to do some cleanup. How do you feel now? Well, it's tiring but satisfying. I love a clean and bright house. Me too. Thank you for cleaning it. It's okay. Cleaning is also my hobby. Something's not right. Are you ready, Tom? Yes, Jessica, let's go. Wait, something's not right. What happened? Have you locked the door? OMG, not yet. Gosh. Let's go back home and lock it. Luckily, we still have 10 minutes before the next bus comes. Ooh, here's the key. Thanks, Jessica. But how did you know? After locking the door, you always give the key to me, but today you didn't. I see. How careful you are. Everyone knows that. Linda, do you know that Lisa and Henry are dating? I think everyone knows that! What? Really? So I am the last person to know? I think so! Anyway, we should not gossip in the hallway, you know. Whoops! Sorry, I was a bit loud. Yeah, be careful with your words or we will be in trouble. But how do you know about their love story? Well, I'm in the same chemistry class as Lisa. She never listens to the lecture. Instead, she texts her boyfriend, Henry, all the time. Really? The teacher doesn't know about that? Actually, nobody cares because Lisa is always using her phone in class. Wow, they must have a lot to talk about. He is very annoying. Where were you today, Sonny? 
I was hiding from Leo. He's very annoying. What has he done to you? He said that he had a crush on me, but I don't like him. Oh, let me guess. So he didn't give up and he kept talking to you, right? That's exactly what happened to me yesterday. He did not leave me alone all day. That's why today I need to make sure he doesn't see me. <laughs> you guys are so funny. If he ever asks you where I am, do not tell him, okay? Okay, sure, bestie. <gasps> Gosh, Leo's coming this way. I have to go. Bye. All right, all right. See you then. Driving license. Dialogue one. Hi, how may I help you? I would like to apply for my driving permit. Are you 16 years old? Yes, I am. Can I see your ID card? <gasps> Sorry, I left it in the car. I'll need to see your ID as well as $27 for your permit. Please wait a moment, I'll go grab my ID. Okay. Here's my ID card and the $27. Thanks. Fill out this form now. Okay. Like this? Yes. Now turn the application in at window B. Dialogue 2. Hello, I am number G25. What can I do for you? Can I apply for a permit right now? Okay. Can I see your ID card? Yes. Here is my ID card. Thank you. Now you have to pay $27. Here you are. Okay. Now I'll need you to complete this form. Could I use your pen? I've got a pen for you. Thank you for your assistance. Then you must turn it in at window B. Dialogue 3. I need to get a driver's license. Do you have your identification with you? <gasps> my ID might be in my car. So, I'll need your ID and $27. I'll go grab it right away. Please, quickly. It's right here. Please complete this form. I'm sorry, I didn't bring a pen. You can use the pen on the table. Thank you kindly. Now, at window B, submit your application. Taking the written test. Dialogue 1. Have you completed the written exam yet? No, I haven't. You should prepare before taking the test. Well, I'm still studying. Try your best. Thanks. Do you know how much it costs? Since you already paid for your permit, you don't have to pay again. Okay. Do you know if the examination covers the entire book? No, the test is very simple. Did you pass the first test? Yes. Well, I hope I did well on it. Dialogue 2. Did you complete the written exam? No. Make sure you study hard. I am. I study every night. I'm confident you're prepared. How much does the test cost? 
It was completely free. Did it cover a lot of material? No, just the stuff in the manual. Did you pass the test the first time? That day, I was quite subjective, so I failed. Wish me luck. Dialogue 3. Have you previously taken the written examination? No, not yet. You should study before you take it. Yeah, I know. How much does it cost to take it? Free, because you previously applied for and paid for your permit. Is the test going to cover everything in the manual? It does not include everything. Did you pass the test the first time you took it? No, I did not pass. I'm hoping I don't flunk the test. Yeah, I believe you will pass. Thanks. Learning how to drive, one. Dialogue, one. So, you know how to drive, don't you? Yeah, I know how to drive. Can you teach me? Have you gotten your learner's permit yet? Yes, I already have it. Do you have any driving experience? Not yet. I only drove once. Do you know the function of all the buttons in the car? Yeah, I do. When do you want to learn how to drive? Whenever you are free. How about tomorrow? Great. Dialogue 2. Do you have a driver's license? I got my driver's license three years ago. Would you be willing to teach me how to drive? Do you have your learner's permit? I do, in fact, hold a learner's permit. Have you ever driven a car before? I've only driven once. You've already gotten familiar with all of the controls of the car, right? Yes. Let me know when you want me to teach you. When you have some free time, we can do it. I won't be busy tomorrow. Dialogue 3. Do you know how to drive? Of course. Why do you ask like that? I'm going to need you to teach me how to drive. Do you have your learner's permit? Yeah, I've got it. Have you ever gotten behind the wheel of a car? I've only driven a car once before. Do you know all of the controls in the car? Yes. When do you want me to begin teaching you? When are you going to have free time? Please contact me by phone tomorrow and we'll get started. Learning how to drive, two. Dialogue, one. Do you want to put your driving skills to the test right now? Yes, thanks. Are you wearing your seatbelt? I've fastened my seatbelt. What should I do now? Start the engine. Should we turn left? Yeah, turn left. How far would you like me to go? Just go. I'll let you know when to stop. Okay. Now we'll turn around. Why don't you try park? Okay, I'll park in that empty spot. Dialogue 2. Now we will practice driving. 
All right, let's go. Did you fasten your seatbelt? I've got my seatbelt on. What comes next? You must start the automobile right now. What exactly do you want me to do? Turn left. How far will we go? I'll tell you when to stop. Tell me first if you want me to stop. Okay. Try parking here. Okay. Tomorrow we will practice driving again. Dialogue three. Should we drive out now? Sure. Let's get started. Fasten your seatbelt. Okay. So what now? You can start the automobile by inserting the key into the ignition. Can I go straight now? No. Turn left onto the highway. Tell me how far you want me to go. Continue until I tell you to stop. Okay, but please notify me ahead of time. That's all there is to it for today. So park your car right there. That was fantastic. Thank you for helping me to drive. Taste of your own medicine. I thought you had a date with your boyfriend today. Yeah, I do. Why are you still here? It's late now. Yeah, I know, but he is always late. So this time, I'm going to give him a taste of his own medicine. So what time will you leave? I don't know. Maybe when he calls, I will leave. He's calling. Where are you now, honey? I'm here, but I can't find you. It's 15 minutes late. Yeah, I know. I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. You are always late. Am I? So sorry, honey. I won't be late in the future. What time will you come? I'm not sure. See ya. I'm dead tired. Would you like to go shopping with me? I'd love to go, but I'm dead tired. What a pity! Today there are so many sold-off items. Yeah, I just went home 20 minutes ago after a long, hard-working day. I just want to take a rest. Do you want to buy anything? I can send you some pictures if they have good prices. I think I prefer trying them on. Ah, I understand. Christmas is coming. Can you buy some ingredients, please? I want to make some ginger cookies by myself. Okay, I will look for them. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, bye. What page are we on? Helen, what are you doing? I'm reading a story for Anna. It is her bedtime. Ah, I see. But I need you for a minute. What do you need from me? I think I lost one of my shirts. I was looking for them for a while, but I can't find them. Which one? The black one with two white lines in the front of it. I think I bought it last month. I don't think I've seen them recently, but you should try to find it in the closet. I will help you after Anna goes to sleep. Okay, thanks, babe. What page are we on? The princess has to marry a frog. Okay. Let's continue. I ran into a big problem. Why do you look so serious? What happened? 
I ran into a big problem. What is the problem? You can tell me in case I can help you with it. I forgot my assignment at home. What? Today is the deadline. Yeah, I know. I think I put it in my backpack, but I don't see it here now. Oh my, what should we do now? I think I will go home and get it. What? You will be late. The next class starts in 15 minutes. I know. I can ask Mr. James for being off this period. I think he will understand. Let's ask him first. Then we will know what we should do. Okay. He could play football well. Do you know Tim? Tim, is he the new student in our school? Yeah, he is. I heard that he is good at sports. Which sports does he play? He plays basketball. He used to be the best basketballer in his primary school. Wow. What about football? Can he play football? He could play football well, but he likes basketball more, so he rarely plays football anymore. What a pity. My team is looking for one more player. Can I join? Are you sure? How about the dancing club? I can do both. No worries. Okay, I will give you a form to register. Please accept my apologies. Excuse me, sir. May I come in, please? Andrew, you are late again. How many times have you been late this month? I think four times. I'm so sorry. Please accept my apologies. Can I know the reason why you are always late? You are not that kind of person. My family just moved to a new house, which is far from here. I'm trying to figure out how long the bus ride is. Promise I will be on time next week. Okay. I hope this is the last time you come late. If not, I think I need to give you a penalty. Thanks for understanding. Seize the day. There is a debate competition next month. Do you want to take part in it? That sounds cool. It may be very difficult. You're good at it. No worries. Should I try? Yeah, of course. This is your time. Let's seize the day. Where can I get more details about it? At the info board. I saw some posters there this morning. Okay, thanks. Is this for individuals or teams? Both of them. I think the team is better. I'm a bit unconfident. Do you want to team up? Me? Can I? Of course you can. We're going to be the best team ever. You should have listened to the teacher. What are you doing? Completing the geography report. Are you done with it? Which geography report? I have no idea what you're talking about. What? You should have listened to the teacher. She reminded us about this report last week. The deadline is tomorrow. Oh my god. Can I have a look at it, please? Here you are. It is a bit difficult. I think you should start doing it right now. If not, you will not be able to finish it. I hope I have enough time. Lucky that I met you today. If you need any help, let me know. I did a lot of research. I can help you with it. Thanks so much.
You should walk to work. Where is your new house? It is at the corner of this street. I chose that apartment because it is so close to our office. Yeah, it is really close. Just around one kilometer. You should walk to work. No, I don't like walking. I always ride a bike to work. That's perfect. I always want to ride to work, but my house is too far. How far is your house from here? Around 30 minutes driving. It may take almost one hour to be here if there are traffic jams. How do you go to work now? I drive my own car. Sometimes I ride the subway. She may have heard everything. Hannah looks like she knows everything about the surprise party. No, she just looks normal. You're just stressed out. She may have heard everything. I don't think so. I'm sure she wasn't there at that time. Okay. Have you prepared the cake and decorations? Of course. Everything is ready for it. What about the birthday presents? I got her the guitar she has been talking about. That's perfect. She will be so happy for sure. I hope everything goes as planned. Yeah, everything will be fine. Don't be too stressed out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.